hello guys welcome back um in this video we are going to discuss about creating wizards on our dashboard page so in filament we specially have three types of widget stats overview widget chart widget and table widgets so in so i am planning to make two videos so in the this video we are going to discuss about stats overview widget and the table widgets and in the upcoming video we are going to discuss about the chart widget in the chart widget we have a different kinds of charts that we can use so let me say um, widgets so if we go to chart widget so here we can see the list of different types of charts bar chart bubble chart do not chart line chart pie chart polar chart ladder chart scatter chart so i am going to make the separate video for this one so in this video we will going to discuss about stats overview and table widget so for that what i am planning is uh, i will create uh, three types of stats overview widgets right so stats overview means just a widget that will have the label and the number so we will move through this also i have also written the article i have already written the article for this so i will put the link in the description below so this is what we are going to create in this video right so we will have we will create the stats over widget for products total showing total products total purchase and total purchase amount since we haven't worked on sales part so and also for the tables we are going to add two two tables with custom actions too so let's get started you can check this out okay so now to create the stats overview let me first zoom in okay so what we can do is psp artisan make flament stats i think stats overview or what i don't know okay sorry my make filament widget make filament widget Mm, let's say um, okay product overview and its type will be stats overview overview so this is the normal command to create the widget and this is the command for the type of widget that we want currently we want stats overview so enter it will ask for the resource but we are creating this in the dashboard so i don't care for this and we are going to create this for admin panel right so now let me refresh it okay there is no change so now if i go to product overview now okay uh, let me just okay, let, okay so now what we are going to do here is in the this array inside the get stats method we can add our stats so for example i will just make stat make this will be our label and this is our value for example 100 if i will refresh here that's it label 100 right so i can add the data how much i need there is no any okay so for example if you want in some cases if you want to show all the data list uh, by also we can show by looping over them right if in case that we need right if we have some data to be shown on the dashboard but we can data related to some model so we can loop them and count them then also we can use that purpose so now so what I am going to show is let's say total product right so this is our level then this will be our product this is our model and we can this is our normal laravel eloquent right product count now if i refresh okay now there are five products in my system now if i go to next let's say total category let's say category count that's it there is a single category and let's say total purchase says or let's say total invoices uh, total um, purchase invoice purchase invoice so what we can do 
is we can just count the purchase right refresh five if i go to purchase here you can see one two three four five records that's it if i go to products two three four five now if i go here there are five products so if i just go and add from here let's say test product 20 let's see its code is this uh, it belongs to hardware kilogram let's see its price is 100 let's see its total quantity is 10 let's say the stock is 100 uh, sorry it should be less than great if i will create now if i go to dashboard you can see here the product in case it's so this is uh, about the total product you can also there are so many things if i go to base widget you can see here we have heading we have descriptions right and not only this we can also modify it so let's move here so we can add description right if you want to add the description Uh, let's say not here and let's uh, I will just make it purchase and let's say description and then description will be uh, let's say purchase invoices right now if I refresh this you can see the description will be in the below the level is here amount description if you want to change the description color we can also do that uh let's say i think we can use its default like success yeah we can also add description icon right so we will need to pass hero icon uh, okay i don't have any information regarding this icon so let me just uh okay copy this icon name instead of looking at there okay refresh right here so in this way we can modify this widget right so this is our uh, starts overview widgets right so now let's move to the you can also check this description it may help you more there just for example icon position we can change this change the color okay these are the default color we have used right you can check we can pass extra attribute also we can uh, when we it is clicked we can fire the library event right so there are a lot of things you can check this out from the documentation part so now let's move towards the table wizards if we go to table wizards there is not much more information here but because the table wizard is similar to our uh, let's say our table inside the uh, resource file so what i am going to do is i need to create uh, let's say we have a lot of purchases now i will create a top five recent purchases list here so what i can do is let me create recent purchase and it's not the stars overview now the type will be table i don't need this i need this okay now if I go here so now if you can see this is same as like the our resource table so we can customize it in that capacity so everything is same okay so for now what we need to do is here is we need to use a query which is purchase is just to what we can do is latest that's it it will get the latest data so now for now i can add text column make let's say id so that we can check it's the latest or not so if i will refresh here see here you can see 13 to 11 10 9 that's it so now what we can do mm, we will add two things first one is provider name and then second one is invoice number also we can make it as a searchable that's it if i will refresh here that's it so i have already discussed how we are going getting this name so this is the relation between purchase and provider and the name is the attribute of provider right so, so we are getting from there and which number that's it so if i search for example okay 34 
now you see searching is also working we can also work for sortable too for example here sortable refresh so everything is same is like we can customize it in the process of our uh, resource table right so now let's uh, if you remember in our product table I have created one attribute called safety stock right so this means uh, the minimum stock they need to keep so now what we will do is we will add the items which are out of safety stock here <coughs> out of safety stocks means where the their quantity is less than their safety stocks their current quantity I know that we haven't worked on the managing the quantity for now still the case is the safety stock is should be sorry the quantity should be less than the safety stock so let's create that so let me just open it and let's say it is the safety stock table now admin panel and let's create here so now here what we need to do is okay sorry uh, i haven't yet query so so what we need to check is compare is the quantity and the safety stock right so what i can do is from the product table where so i need to check two columns of the same model so i can do where column right where column quantity is less than or equals to let's say safety will stop so if I go to dashboard now there is no error so let's add the columns name um, let's say text column make name which is the product name let's say its current quantity and let's say its um, safety stock let's add these three things okay see here 10 12 so this is one of the which is our so the heading is safety stock so we can change the heading same as we can customize here heading and let's say out of stock products not out of stock but what we can say is out of safety stock i don't know exact term for this part okay let's say out of safety stock so now you can see here right also uh, let's say make the table is striped I think it's TRIPED we can do this so if let's say let me go to products so let me edit anyone so let's say its quantity is 11 its safety stock is 1 uh, let me do is let me make it 20 okay so now you can see the two -ish records and the table is also striped here so now the last thing what I need in both the tables is whenever I click on the record I need to go to that particular resource view right so for example if I go to manage products I don't have okay I haven't created view page for this so I will pass them to the edit page so first of all let's work on the purchase here what we can do is we can add a custom action so which will move us move to the invoice page so if i you go to here i think i have created the same here uh, okay there is no page okay but there is a code here is the one so mm. so let's work for recent purchase firstly so here what we can do is we can pass actions and insert array action which is filament table actions okay this one make let's say view invoice mm, and we need to pass the url right and if we have already discussed that we can get that particular record inside the record right so if i refresh this and now we have the view invoice currently we haven't passed any url so it's the URL is registered in our purchase resource so it is invoice and in the parameter we have two things one is tenant where we need to pass uh, tenant ID and the next thing 
is i think we need to pass the record which is um, our record id right let me just return this part okay so okay it's not important so if you are confused on how i am getting this let me just show you if i go to purchase resource i have registered the route here right invoice so a real record means that particular purchase resource and another is our tenant id right if i refresh this and if i go here now you can see the invoice of that new purchase provider for example okay from purchase resource view invoice from purchase resource that's it so this is what i want here and let's uh, do the same for product page here in the actions area or i think uh, for this instead of creating the action there is outside oh, there is another get uh, table clickable or something click okay no 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 it's on side there okay let me just read this actions okay action filament table actions make view or let's say edit because it will i don't have view page for this part so url i will get the record and simply i need to return is product resource get url this is how we get the register url from the resource path okay this is same like using the route but we can get for url by directly here edit and we need to pass the record which is record id that's it let me just let me refresh this if i go to here okay i am in the laptop if i go to here i am here okay that's it for this video uh, so we are going to discuss about the chart widget in the upcoming video okay so if you want any specific kind of widgets then you can comment down below thank you guys for watching this video